Hello and welcome to Basil and Rose. I'm filming this in the mirror so you can see me. And now I'm going to turn it over to Ms. Buna, who is the shop owner here at Basil and Rose in Bountiful, Utah. And she is going to tell us about her fun items. Uh, the first things I wanted to talk to her, uh, have her show you was the things that she personally created because I think this is this is wonderful. It's something she has on your website. So. Welcome, Buna, and thank you for doing this for well, the queens. For so these are card decks that cover wild, edible, and medicinal plants. All these plants can be found in Utah, and many can become and be found in other parts of Intermountain West, some all over the world. So it has a picture of the plant on the front, on the back, a verbal description, edible and medicinal use. These are printed on plastic, so they're waterproof and tear resistant. And there's also information about what things you should keep in mind whenever you're collecting plants from the wild. Awesome. And there's two decks, there's different plants in each mm -hmm. one. That so. would be good information to know, especially if you're into preparedness and feeling like, hey, I might need to, to eat some plants out there at some point, okay? Or if you got stranded somewhere. Uh -huh. I would much rather eat plants that I know are safe than not know or have to eat bugs or Whatever yeah, I think I would die before I ate a bug. <laughs> okay, so tell us about your book. And then this is a book about growing herbs, awesome. and it covers about 80 different plants. And so it talks about growing conditions in general, what kinds of things you'd use it for. Um, the botanical name in here is in here, which is really important because if you're buying plants or seeds, you want to make sure you're getting the thing you think you are. And yes. then in the back, it has what I call shopping lists. So if you want to know different herbs that are great for tea, herbs that are used for the Passover, edible flowers, um, herbs for salads. If you want to plant a garden that has all silver leaved plants, plants that are good for shade, containers, you want to create a Shakespeare garden, all kinds of lists like that. So you can just have this with you for when you're buying the plants that you're looking for. So Fun. you have to write them down somewhere else. So I, I remember it was last year that you would actually take people on these hikes, right? And you'd mm -hmm. show people these edible plants. And uh, ladies, as you can probably tell, Buna like loves her plants. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> the, the gardening store kind of was an extension of that. Um, and I've done herb walks this year too, but most of them have been with private groups. Okay, just because of the COVID. But right. but that's something like, let's say some people wanted to arrange that with uh -huh. you. They could, yes. they could do that. Wonderful. Yes. And you do other things too. I know that. Yeah. Um, she does have classes in, in Basil and Rose here. She has a classroom just behind her there. And you can also watch some of these classes online. They're past classes online online that you can access as well. I think you were said sourdough making. So there's a man that teaches sourdough bread making once a month here. Mm -hmm. I've taught different gardening classes. There's preparedness classes. Some of them aren't on the YouTube channel yet. Mm -hmm. The YouTube channel is actually named after my garden coaching business. So it's Garden Inspire. But there are links to it from basilandrose.com. Okay, so as well as all my social media links are there. Beautiful. So in addition to to her items, and she has a few items on online, for example, her book and the um, the card deck, she also has several different things. So if you are unfortunately like me and uh, do not have a green thumb and you wanted to come in and, and like find some fun, fun stuff, we've got some different things, some necklaces. Uh, different items and, and These cards. These are all made with real leaves, cones, and acorns. Beautiful. And then let's kind of pan over this way. You've got some some products from some local Utah companies that you keep on hand. So I try to be really careful about the ingredients and in anything that I sell. And these are all food products. Now, not all of them are Utah, but I try to be Utah or at least small business, handmade kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, these are all dip mixes that are made in Utah. No MSG in anything that I sell. Mm -hmm. These are not Utah, but they're Pennsylvania, chocolate sauces, mustards, those kinds of things. Um, these are Tabasco products that you can't find in your local grocery store. So if you want to have Tabasco with you all the time, the Tabasco olives are amazing. So if somebody likes hot sauce, what a fantastic gift. And I'm just going to point out, this is from McElhaney Island, which is in Louisiana, where my husband is from. Oh. And I've actually been to McElhaney Island. Right. So yeah, it's kind of cool that you actually can see them doing the, growing yes. the, the peppers. So 
Sounds like a fun place yep. to live. Yep. I'm just going to show the Thrive here, which I have actually started buying in the last few months because it is freeze dried. And if any of you are doing preparedness, then that's a the good thing to have on hand. And also a local uh, author here, Cindy Miller, both you know, and I know her, she has the thermal cooking, which is a great way yes. for preparedness or just in general, but specifically if you're and into preparedness. Great recipes. Great recipe. Yes, I love the Italian wedding soup. I haven't tried that one yet. Oh yeah, it's like um, the Olive Garden, um, oh. the, the sausage soup, you know? Oh, okay. It's very good, so. <laughs> and the, um, quinoa rice lemon oh i'll have That's to try really that good. okay i may not have the name right i also do sell harvest right freeze dryers so if you want to order one you can order one through me awesome okay and then you've got some herbs and spices so, herbs here and spices for cooking uh-huh this um sold to spices is a utah company i have several of their products here again no msg or other kinds of ingredients good to know i sell real salt which is a utah company um the ones that aren't utah companies make theirs in small batches so there's not, um, it's in better condition, it's fresher, mm -hmm. and not a bunch of additives in there. And this is actually invented by a friend of mine here in Utah. It's a canning funnel that fits wide or regular mouth. Ah. It sits right on the rim, so there's no tipping or spilling. And I haven't canned for years, but I do make sauerkraut and kimchi. So anytime I'm filling a jar for anything, I use it. This is a fermenting kit if you want to make your own. Ah, that's, that's a big thing, the fermenting, yes. right? Okay, so it's actually a fermenting kit right there. See, right there. Okay. And then I have different kitchen supplies here. There's a bunch of different kinds of aprons, Fun. including an egg laying one <laughs> to gather eggs. Okay. That is but awesome. awesome. <laughs> And these are for storing your garlic and um, onions so they keep longer. Oh, I did not know and that. I have a butter churn. Okay, a butter so churn, wow. Kind of, and I have lots of things decorated with gardening things. So I have dragonfly glasses and dishes and ladybug glasses and uh -huh. honey containers, actually. And I do sell Utah raw honey. Yep. So local honey, it's important to get local honey. And then these are beeswax wraps, so instead of saran wrap, you use those, oh. you just rinse them off and then reuse them so you're not throwing away plastic. Nice. These are for storing your produce. Mm -hmm. And again, washable, reusable. This company is a Utah company. This is, can be used to toss a salad, get your food off the grill, um, tear up your pork roast, anything like that. My daughter-in-law actually gave those to my husband for uh, Father's Day and we, oh, we've been oh, using nice. them. They are very effective. Yes. <laughs> and then different kinds of dish towels decorated with herbs, chickens, mm -hmm. different gardening kind of topics. Right. And then this is the herb tea section. So I sell different kinds of herb teas and things with that theme. This is the cat's oh, head. Is so this is a personal teapot. And different herb blends here. So all these are a Utah company right mm -hmm. here. I also have tinctures from them. Most of the skincare is Utah. So all these soaps are made by somebody right here in Bountiful She also does the bath bombs. And these soaps are all in Utah. So some great ideas for gift ideas, ladies, you know, if you if you want or for yourself. Right. <laughs> so. And there's skincare and lip balm, all again with good ingredients. Beautiful. And lots of different books related to preparedness, homesteading, gardening, herbs, what either growing, cooking, using medicinally. I have a few books that are Utah artists or Utah authors. Mm -hmm. There's a few more over there. Wow. And then I have different candles. So these are in a coconut shell, and you can actually float Fun. things if you want. To. Oh, like in a tub or what? Yeah, or outside. <laughs> oh, okay, outside. Whatever. Okay. All my candles have cotton wicks, so they have good ingredients. These right here, these are an, actually an Idaho product, and this company made all these ex especially for us. They were doing a tree that had some saying on it, and I asked them to take that off. But they designed the dragonfly and the butterfly and the hummingbird just for us. So you can just put your votive candle in there, candle holder nice. in there. And they have different beeswax candles. Nice. And posters of Utah wildflowers and endangered plants. Very. So these greeting cards right here, again, have that garden theme. Almost all of them are Utah artists. Patricia lives in Layton. Wow, it's beautiful. And Adrian um, 
is in Salt Lake. Some of these we have larger paintings on the wall for, or we can get them. And these cards are actually designed to be matted or framed. And so you could give a card and somebody could actually frame it and put it on the wall. This lady is a beekeeper up in South Ogden. These are wonderful. They're not Utah, but they're that garden theme. These are actually pins out of metal that come with a mailable card. Nice. And then she lives in um, Kaysville. And she is a photographer up in Willard. So lots of Utah. Yeah. And, and very unique and, and fun. I know that when um, I would go traveling somewhere or we would host maybe some foreign students for a little bit, I always wanted to give them something unique from Utah. Yes. And it's nice to know that there's beautiful things that are local that you can give that's not the same thing over and over again. Right. <laughs> and I like giving somebody a gift that they wouldn't have bought for themselves because they don't know it exists. Mm -hmm. Years ago, I was making up little gift things for Christmas to send family out of state. That was all stuff made in Utah. And so you can, if you wanted to do something like that, there's quite a few things here. Mm -hmm. I have some calendars that are urban hummingbird. Um, these are different wind chimes, stained glass, things like that. Some of them are made in Utah, some aren't. Mm -hmm. And I have gardening seeds. Everything I have right now, except the wildflowers are half price right now. Mm -hmm. um, I will be getting seeds packed for 2021 by November. But you can still certainly plant these. If you keep your seeds cool and dry, mm -hmm. you can usually keep them for a few years to continue to grow them until they're all gone. Right, so now would be a good time to get the seeds in preparation for next planting, That's right? That's exactly true. Awesome. Okay. Now we're going to go over to more of the... Did you want to oh, look at the mushrooms? Oh, yes. First? We have to talk about the mushrooms because apparently growing your own mushrooms is the thing. My, my nephew is growing gourmet mushrooms and selling them for outrageous amounts per pound. So... If, you know, I'm just like, and these, they're not to be smoked. These are to be eaten, right? <laughs> these are all edible, and some of them are also medicinal. This is lion's mane, so it's used for the brain and nervous system, but you can eat it. So you grow these right out of the top of the bag. They come with directions. It's $20 a bag, and there's different kinds. If there's a kind you're looking for that I don't have in, she has all different kinds that she grows, mm -hmm. so I may be able to get them that that's once again a very interesting if you have somebody who who wants to get into growing the mushrooms or or having something fun and, and to try that's a yes. fun gift right for twenty dollars that's great and we looked at the real leaf jewelry well mm -hmm. here's some more jewelry again with that gardening kind of theme so bees butterflies um all that kind of stuff awesome well i love this shirt over here this is the queen bee shirt right here ladies and there's also a shirt for the little one. And a little sweet pea. And I'm out right now, but there's usually a onesie with the bee, but I do have the bee one and a rose one. In cute. Right and so there's cute. scarves with chickens, bees, feathers, plants, and they're really nice fabric. Awesome. Well, I want you to talk to us about your gloves because apparently your gloves are like the bomb, right? They are. So I did landscaping in Alaska and we would be given a box full of latex gloves. And I don't usually like wearing latex gloves because I feel like they get in the way, or any kinds of gloves because it seems like they get in the way. But well, one time my boss gave me a pair of these gloves and they fit snugly. They're actually designed after women's evening gloves. And then you can just throw them in the washer on delicate. And so it's almost like you're not wearing gloves. So you can get them with the little grippers or you can get them without, just depending what you prefer. They come in small, medium, and large, all these beautiful colors. They also sell work gloves. A lot of work gloves get stiff when they get wet. These do not. Mm -hmm. And then there's the one if you're doing the heavy duty roses or raspberries. But all of these, you can just throw in the wash on delicate and they wash up just great. And I do have those listed on my website. If you mm -hmm. want them shipped to you, I've had people from all over the country ask for them to be shipped. That's wonderful. And the same company actually has these hats. So some of these colors match the glove colors, but these are made in women by women in Bali to help support their families. And so even if you're not a gardener, wearing them to the beach or anytime you want to keep yourself cool or sun protected, you can fold them up to take them somewhere. You can get them wet to keep you even cooler. And they do look like nice hats, not, you know, like not your grandma's gardening hat, no, right? These, <laughs> are, these are cotton crochet and they are hand washable. Mm -hmm. And I've had people say, oh, my head's too big for a hat and they fit. Or my head's too small for a hat and they fit. Because they're handmade, they're unique. 
So um, if you try one on, it doesn't fit right, just try a different one on. Beautiful, beautiful. And then um, some things over here, you were mentioning about the microgreens, which because of the whole preparation, I've actually started, here's a, here's a microgreen growing kit about that. And I can tell you that even me, who is not good with gardening, I can grow microgreens by following the directions, so. And one reason I teach gardening classes here is to help everybody be able to garden. But no matter where you live, you can grow something, mm -hmm. even if it's microgreens. These are little kits to get you started also. They come with everything but the water. I also have sprouting things. So sprouting materials, all these seeds can be used for either sprouting or microgreens. Both easy to do no matter where you live. Mm -hmm. And I actually grew up on sprouts. My mom, my mom would do the sprouts quite a bit. Uh, and it's a great way to get some nutrition, right? You know, especially if if you can't go out and get fresh produce a lot, right? And right. you're you're confined to your home, or it's not on the shelves. I know that was the case for a few things that I wanted earlier this year, and so I started sprouting again, and just to have that fresh, nutrient dense product, right. I, I appreciate that. Yeah. And even if you don't think you like sprouts because you've only had alfalfa sprouts or mung beans, which I like both of those. <laughs> Lentils sprouted just so it barely starts mm -hmm. growing are just delicious. I've thrown them in a salad. Mm -hmm. um, you can also sprout and then let it dry and use it to make bread. And huge amounts of protein as well, right? Uh -huh. uh, which is which is wonderful, especially if you you want the the plant based versus a, an animal protein. Right. But it but it has a lot of nutrients, including protein. Right. So a great thing to learn how to do. Mm -hmm. And not hard, ladies. Once again, if Lark can do microgreens and sprouting, you too can, can improve your diet by doing that. So that is wonderful. And uh, Buna is going to give a, a queens, our queens um, a discount if you want to buy some things online. So she doesn't have everything online because she has like thousands of products here. But uh, there will be some fun things. Like, like she mentioned, the gloves are huge and the hats are also a purchase and then her book and then the edible plant cards, which I think would be a great benefit to know, right? And then if you actually come into her store, she's going to give you even bigger discounts. So I'll make sure I post that in the comments, but do come in and say hello to Buna. So there's her name right there at <laughs> Basil and Rose. They're in, um, Bountiful, Utah, which is fairly central if you're along the Wasatch Front. So Bountiful on Orchard Drive. So both great names for a store. There you go. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> and, you. and we certainly haven't had time to look at everything, but all the gardening supplies I sell are organic gardening supplies. So there's no stinky smell in here. Um, I've only gardened organically myself for almost my whole life. So I can give you ideas about that. I also sell edible house plants. So I have citrus trees in right now, pineapple plants. So no matter what time of year it is, there could be plants in here that you could grow at least as a house And plant. the citrus, you can just leave it inside your house uh -huh. and grow it and have yep. some fresh citrus, which is lovely, right? Yes. Okay, so tell us the name of your uh, website. It's basilandrose.com. Okay, and with that, with the ampersand. You have to write it out because oh, ampersands and and can't be in. Oh, there you go. Okay, but I'll, I will post that as well. And thank you, Buna. This well, was fun. You. Yes, it was. Thank you.